Linear unmixing can help you to better distinguish fluorophores on your image with slightly overlapping spectrum. It is useful not only when you detect several fluorophores, but also when there is autofluorescence in your sample, which creeps into the detection range of the fluorophore you want to see. For example, when I detect green fluorescent protein in plant tissues containing chlorophyll, I quite often see structures which look like chloroplasts. For detecting GFP, I use a laser line of 488 nanometers, and then I expect to see emission light coming only from green fluorescent protein. But apparently, this laser line can also excite fluorescence of chlorophyll. As you can see here, the spectra of GFP and of chlorophyll slightly overlap. For some samples, I need to pull the sensitivity of the detector quite high and it increases probability of photons coming from chlorophyll being visible in the GFP channel, which is called crosstalk or bleeding from channel to channel. The unmixing option provides you with the opportunity to subtract photons which, are, which most probably came from the chlorophyll from your image in the GFP channel. And to be able to unmix uh, chlorophyll from GFP, you need to have spectra for them. To obtain a spectrum for chlorophyll, I will scan a leaf of wild type Arabidopsis plant. So I will go to the light path tab and then proceed to the lambda mode. And here I can ask the software to detect the whole spectrum. Then I will proceed to activating the laser which I use for detection of GFP, 488 nanometers. And I need to make sure that the corresponding main beam splitter is in the path. 488. Linear unmixing will be based on quantification of intensities. Spectrum will be built based on the quantitative analysis of intensities in your image. So you need to make sure that there will be no oversaturated pixels. For this you can go to live scan. And in the palette you can select range indicator option. Pixels invisible to detector will be coded in the blue color Grayscale pixels have quantifiable intensity and pixels shown with red color are oversaturated pixels. I have three detectors and I need to adjust master game for each of them. I obviously cannot adjust anything for the, the first detector because there is no signal there at all. And actually detecting the spectrum to the left from your laser line is most probably an overkill. It's basically looking for a fluorophore with an anti stock shift. And then on the quasar detector, this one, I can easily see that chloroplasts are showing up and I don't want them to be oversaturated. To be able to see it, it easier you can go to the 2D tab and then just scroll between the channels. So here is the chlorophyll showing up and it's a little bit oversaturated. Mm -hmm. And on the uh, detector G2 I also can see some chlorophyll. Stop. When I click on snap now, I will be able to see images provided by each individual detector present in the system. Again, we have 34 detectors and these are 34 images. Show text visualizes approximately what range of the uh, spectrum was detected by each of the detectors. Um, so it will be 610 plus minus approximately 5 nanometers. You can proceed to unmixing tab to create the spectrum from the image you just acquired.